Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Kyle Explains a Lot of Things mini-sode. A little small episodes. Um, gotta get a little bit used to this because I can't really teach you any drums or guitar playing because of my elbow. But the good news is I am healing very, very fast. I have more mobility in my arm. I've just made a lot of progress. I'm very uh, grateful to see how fast I've been healing and each day I'm getting a little bit more movement. So that, that is great in that front. I've been adapting very well. It's becoming a lot easier. Um, no big deal on my part. Could have been a lot worse, like I said in the other video. Um, but I want to discuss a couple of things or explain a couple of things that I have learned um, since breaking my elbow that will be very helpful maybe to you guys I mean, it, it for sure is helpful for me understanding a couple of things, and it's really been quite surprising. I had to drop most of my habits that I do in the morning. I wake up and, like, I meditate, I do yoga, I journal, I do all these kinds of things, and, and, it, and it's wonderful. You know, they're great habits, and I'm still going to continue doing them, but I've stopped doing all these things and, and all these uh, habits I've been doing throughout the day that you don't even realize that you do and I've noticed something that like you know where did these habits come from why did I start these habits in the first place kind of had me wondering and first they say oh well because to help my productivity or to help my flexibility or um, to help clear my mind and then I, I started understanding that um I mean, it's no surprise to me, like, I deal with uh, anxiety and panic attacks at times. In the past year, they've been a little bit annoying in the second half of this past year. And it almost seems like these habits were kind of like a way that you see, like, it kind of gives you hope. Like, oh, wow, I just found this cool new uh, thing that people do. Or, oh, this could help me. Maybe I should do it. And then you get that, that sign of hope. Because, like, you're annoyed at the anxiety. And so you start doing this habit, and you feel good about it, and then it comes back. And it almost seems like you kind of move the goalposts. And, and you kind of, uh, you know, you, you kind of keep clinging on to this hope. And, and so you, you keep doing these habits, and then, like, and then you get anxiety again. You're like, oh, well, that's not working. And, then, and you just kind of keep, in a way, um, dropping these habits for the times I've been doing them, like, this past week has actually gotten rid of my anxiety because it's kind of forcing me to just not really define that anxiety as important or serious to me. Like when you're doing habits because of anxiety, you're you're kind of giving you're kind of giving the anxiety the uh, respect and importance that it likes. It almost has like a big ego and the more that, like, you're scared and you're trying to, like, defend and fight it, the more, like, kind of like a magnet when you turn it and it attracts to it. But then if you spin it away, it, it you know, it, it goes away, right? It's like the same way. When I stop my habits, I swear, like, my stress and anxiety have, like, disappeared. And it's the weirdest thing ever. And, and a part of it could be because break your elbow, like, it's a big distraction, but it's one thing that I'm kind of following. And I feel like sometimes if we break away from our habits, take a little vacation from them for like a week or maybe a month and then get back into them and maybe implement them in different ways, it, it will definitely be very helpful. But that's definitely one thing I've noticed. And it's really, really awesome. Like this kind of... And plus, when you do habits, you have like that pressure to try to get get these things done. And then you stress about, oh, I didn't get to meditate today, or, or I didn't get to write my journal, oh, I forgot to do that, or, wow, I did this, but I didn't feel like I did a good enough job. And then you keep, like, kind of ridiculing yourself that you, you know, and that, with that pressure, and then trying to fit the time to do all this stuff, and and it will stress you out, and that can cause a lot of stress and anxiety as well. So, these are some things to kind of understand, and... Maybe for some people it doesn't really affect them this way, but for me, I've just definitely noticed it, and um, it's definitely kind of a positive for me in this moment. So, you know, look at your habits. Are you kind of stressed out lately? Do you, do you have too much on your plate? 
You know, just get rid of that load. It's almost like walking up a mountain with a giant rock and you're carrying up, you know, you got to sometimes, you got to like destroy, destroy the stone on your back. You know, it's making it harder for you to climb up that mountain. And then when you get to the top without that stone, you realize, wow, like that was a lot easier, but you build it up to be something harder than it needed to be. And so, you know, look in your life and see, maybe you're maybe overwhelmed with a couple too much things. See the reason why you're doing these uh, these habits. Are they really helpful? Are, are you seeing a lot of um, positivity out of this? Are you seeing a lot of good results that are helping you? More pros than cons? These are things you need to ask yourself. Like, I, I don't know what you guys do or what your habits are, but um, I feel like everyone has this in your life. And so I feel like it's very important to um, kind of reflect, sit back, be in a state of just doing nothing, being lazy and just kind of looking at things instead of looking at things while you're, you know, driving around the speed track and just, you know, everything's a blur. You're like, oh, well, when you sit back in a time of peace and doing nothing, you can really make a good call and really reflect and see in detail what is going on in your life. So those are just some words that I felt like I needed to speak about and um, wanted to share with you guys. And I hope this was useful. If it is, um, subscribe, comment, like, uh, share. I hope to really build this channel to be something to help everyone. Um, it really isn't about like being this big thing or whatever, but I mean, I want to be big because it means I get to help and, and see, you know, people see wonderful results in their life. And that's just a great feeling. And it's wonderful to have a platform to do this. So um, hopefully you guys found this helpful. And I am definitely healing at a really fast process. So by next week, I'll be lifting weights again. Probably not. So until next time, guys.